Ranger confirm uh, Havoc is clear to the range. At 5 1 flight Ranger. Havoc is uh, 10 miles to the south, 6 minutes out, 6 minutes. This is the Strategic Air Command Museum in Ashland, Nebraska, about 30 minutes from Offutt Air Force Base. With over 300,000 square feet of exhibit with over 30 aircraft on display. Come inside with me and let's take a tour. Some rockets there and a blue scout right there. Pretty cool. That thing looks interesting. I wonder if you know what that is. And then ICBMs probably. Here's hangar A of the museum. Oh, look at that. It's the U-2. That's so cool. We might actually get this in flight simulator soon. And the B-52. This is actually really cool. I'm super excited. It's the U-2 flight suit, basically. Oh, this is the SR-71. But still, they were pretty much the same thing. They got some nice paintings of the B-52. Like the old version of it. Uh, no comment on whatever this thing is. Kind of interesting. Gary Powers in the U-2 mission, which is right there, the U-2. It's when he got shot down and they made a cool movie about it. There's everything here. Oh, patches. I want a U-2 patch. That'd be cool. Get a U2 patch. Of the grass. Part two. Photo taken of powers is his evidence. Oh, that's actually an actual picture. That's crazy. That's cool. Pictures here of the C5, right there, air refueling. More air refueling. Oh, and the KC-135s, you saw flying around earlier. Wanted scrap metal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, here's the... Oh, look at this! This is actually so cool. All the patches, and this is... Okay, here's more pictures. Oh, F4 is your favorite? Look at that. Which one? This one? Oh, this one is super nice. Yes. The F-101. We gotta go look at it then. I also really like it. Yeah. Should probably hurry up upstairs. They're taking so much time up here. B-52. Another B-52. B-1. Oh, look at the B-1 over the Air Force Academy. Uh -huh. That's cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, the chapel. More pictures. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Kind of cool. Okay, let's go downstairs now. The B-25 right here, which they have a model of right here, which we're going to go and see. Let's go. Oh, it smells old. I love that smell. It's the inside. Yeah, the best smell. The, the entire Air Force um, Museum smells like that. In Dayton. This bomb. Ah. Wirings. I should probably like zoom out. Actually, it makes it more blurry. Oh, here's the flight deck. With the cool logo here. Or patch. What is going on over there? I don't know. A B-25 right here. Future civil air patrol recruits? Yes, no way. Right. Weird plane that a movie was made about. It has three engines and four of these rocket, not it. Four engines, three propellers. Here's a B-26, which looks a lot like the B-25. Oh wait, this is the B-25. It looks, I'm tripping. I want to look at this plane. It's so much bigger than I thought, though. Exactly. Yes. No, not this one. Close. The other side of it. They're working on it. 
Oh, look at this. Strategic Air Command, right here. Look at these model planes. Oh, there's a B-52 over there. Let's go look at that. B-52. Look at that. What does it say? Strategic Air Command Museum. Oh, Vietnamese guard tower right there. Oh, is this what like a prison was like or something? I think so. That's crazy. A theater room, we can see a bunch of helmets and pictures. Oh yeah. And then right in the middle, there's a model. Yeah, let me see. Oh yeah, engines. Interesting. That's B-52. Oh yeah, because it has a bunch of engines. B-52. So here's the other. And right in here is the models. There's C-130s, the B-52, SR-71, and the KC-135, one of my favorites. Look how nice it looks. That's in the theater room right there. There's a fallout shelter. Um, the walls look kind of like my basement and about the same thickness, so yeah, but it's cool. We can keep going here. We have control panels here for controlling, I don't know, rockets or something. And more control panels over there the b57 it's super small it's basically like squatting down kind of weird there's the cockpit oh it has a yoke that's actually surprising and there's a back seat probably for the bomber and the engines are like super close to the thing which is weird and there's just weird engines in general look at that it's just weird unusual it has these tanks on the side more of the uh b52 right here yeah and here's the uh b57 right there here we have a quill air decoy missile which is interesting oh it looks like there's a simulator over there we're gonna have to go hit that show off because we know what we're doing oh what is this Oh, this is the B-52 fire control thingy. That's crazy. Oh, what is that? Like a landing simulator? Fire? What are they? They're like fire truck. Oh, look at this. A crash truck. They're so weird. This would not survive like if something, if a plane blew up. Well, yeah, but still. What are those kids doing? Oh, we should buy a jacket like this for sure. Get this model. Here's like the older, oh, it's a B-47 Strato. You have B-47. Uh, ops. It's American though. Look at this cockpit. Oh, and there's another cockpit right here. Let's go take a look at these cockpits. No. All the artwork. Look at that. We're gonna have to take a deeper look into those. And the B-17, a classic. Really nice. Oh, look at that mini F-22. And the B-17. So have air command. It's like a B-52 trainer. Oh, there's nothing actually. It's just, it's just like a cockpit of B-57. It's actually kind of cool. The F-4 from Lincoln, Nebraska. So they have Air National Guard base here. And the F-111. Look at how cool this thing is. Here's one of those loaders. It's actually so cool. U.S. Air Force. Oh, this is a cool looking plane. Look at this. It's like a Dorito. Very oh, interesting. I said, I don't know. No. Yeah. There's the back of the F-111. 
the B58 I see. So this is where, uh, where the fuel would leak and um, they'd make it burn. Kind of cool. Here's the front of the uh, B47. And here's the B58, which I really, really like for some reason. It just looks weird and the weird makes it look cool. Thoughts, what do you think? What do you think? Yes, apparently. It's interesting. Lon Tokyo to London in eight hours. That's kind of long, I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, here's the plane that we saw at the Air Force Museum in Dayton. Right there. And there's the B-58. Here's a bunch of engine parts. Kind of boring. Respectfully, engine parts are boring. The F-102, I finally got the name of it. Uh, it looks cool. Honestly, I never really liked old planes, but now coming to all these museums, kind of starting to like these old planes. Better than like, well not better than the new ones, but just like, they're cool. Here's the B-52. Oh my dice, the B-52. B-17, obviously I know that. Here, they have a courage from above. Uh, walkway basically. So there's a German blimp or airship, whatever you called it. Helmet, Allied helmet, Nazi helmet. Hey, Billy Mitchell. He's a award for Civil Air Patrol. Really cool. B-17 Flying Fortress. Look at that. This is interesting. Smoke helmet, that looks terrifying. If I saw somebody in that, I'd be running. Oh, there's the Stuka. A rifle. Japanese flag. Good luck flag, good luck. Oh my goodness, look at what we have here. The Nazi flag. Uh, not, I'm gonna be honest, that's a cool knife, I'm just saying. Logo though, mm, mid. <laughs> Probably with the mid, this, yeah. Okay, uh, people sleeping, I hope, in the train tunnels. We have a aircraft carrier. Look at that. Oh, the attack on Pearl Harbor, not good. Presidential talk. Is this, yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Eagle Squadron Jacket. So it's a German Air Force, I think. No, is it? It looks German, the color. Oh, American Volunteers. Wait, the Eagle Squadron, our plan, were organized by nationality the first time we formed September 19th, made by our American Volunteers during the battle. You know what this sounds like? It sounds like Civil Air Patrol. American Volunteers, oxygen model. Oh, we have like a probably a B-17 door. So go here, <laughs> rip them up. No play. A armor flex suit. Oh, there's the Air Force jacket, which was Army Air Force back then. Eighth Air Force, big week. It's cool. Oh, look at this, the B-24. That's really cool. Look at that. Ooh, look at these models. These are cool. Typewriter. More models. And now it's just paintings, mostly. Oh, the beat of oh, Enola Gay, which is um, when they dropped the nuclear bomb in Japan. Look at that. That's actually a cool model. Nice. But see, mm, rather get a modern one. Like, oh, look at that, you too. And well, here's the F-101. Nice looking plane. F-101. There's the F-101. You walk through it. Or walk by it. It's just a cool looking plane. Look at that right there. Pretty sure they had them at Toledo at one time. Which is cool, where the F-16s are now. And then here's the, uh, this is the B-26, I'm pretty sure. Let me go take a look inside. 
Look at that mini F22 again. Taking a look inside here, they don't hit my head on the props. Oh, nice two cockpit. Kind of cool, look at that. There's that plane in the front of it. You can see everything. Ooh, some more models over there. We have the uh, like a Pegasus Bridge type mission right here. We actually talked about this in one of our Civil Air Patrol meetings. And there's a C-130 right there. F-16. All right, now we're gonna try and go on to the next hangar. So we have found the uh, F-22. It's the uh, 343rd Recruiting Squadron, the Wolf Pack, and they have a mini F-22 that's painted like the Thunderbirds. I want, I need to build something like this. That'd be so cool. Under the B-52. Here's the B-17. The Air Command and Security Forces, basically their drill uniform. See, this one looks nice. The berets are the cool. I like the berets. strategic resources. Despite the fact that the strategic Did a lead air guard. command stood down in 1992. And here's where us moving to the next hangar on the SS-21. Oh, dude, look at this. They have the Air Force flag and stuff. Dude, they do things. Probably for the base, like ceremonies. I actually want to see this. Oh, look at this. With this strategic air command. That's actually so cool. Alright, so here's the missile area. So there they have a command and control center, looks like. Missiles! Which they have at F.E. Warren Air Force Base, Cheyenne. So this is kind of where this is probably taking place. Look, but do not touch. Got it. Missile Operation Manual. On November 26th, 1956. Oh, how they were dressed. See, they have like the blue flight suits. Civil Air Patrol also has blue flight suits. Oh, they're the worst. Oh, here's what one of these. Oh, wait, what is this? Launch Control Center. Oh, light up. Light in Control Center. Launch Control Facility. Oh, it's this entire thing. And yeah, look at this. This even lights up. Launch control equipment building. Let's see there. Wait, wait, oh, missiles. Networks. Oh, it's right at the bottom. Cable networks. Nothing. No cables. Launcher facility. Here's the launcher facility. What are these things that keep going? Look at that thing. And launch control. That's uh, this right there. What are those? Missile. The missile. That's crazy. Equipment building. Air. Oh, nothing here. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool how they make it light up. Yeah. Over here on missile. What do we take this home? Put this in our front yard right here. This one, or even better, this one. I would take this home and put it in my room. To be honest. Oh, the, so the Thunderbirds used to have a plane like this for purse. It was painted by the Thunderbirds. Oh, now they don't have it. Look at this. C-119. Old cargo plane. Sadly, we cannot go in. But we can look. It's basically just a box. It's a flying box. These weird... Exactly. Flying box. Yeah, that's what I told you. Oh, look at this, the Casey, uh, Casey f something. I always forget it. They have this in front of the IX Center in Cleveland. Oh, yeah? Yeah, this one exactly. Oh, okay. <gasps> Casey 135. Yes. Wait a second, this is the Casey one. This is the uh, EC135. So it's basically just radars. It does radar stuff. Look how cool it looks, though. Look at that. Oh, a presidential plane. This used to be a presidential plane, and then there's the boxcar. Are you 
Where all the cars? Is there cars back there? <laughs> there it is. Wait a second. I was lied to. Was I lied to? I think I was lied to. I'm gonna be honest. I think I was lied to. There should have been. There's a B29. So this is like what dropped the bomb on Japan. The EC135 looking cute as always. Whoa, what? Oh, I was not lied to. Look at this. It's covered up by the wing though. What? And the F1, oh, look at this. There's an F117. That's huge. What? Now this plane is already retired. Actually, I think eight of them still fly. No, Only eight. Eight. Wow. Oh, well, yeah. Look at that. That's the Evro Vulcan or whatever. Look at that. That's like a... Evro? Yes, it's, it's Britain. I actually really want to see it up close. Like the uh, Army Jeep. Honestly, boring. Next. <laughs> you like it? Ah, oh, yeah. Box car. Huh? It's a uh, MiG, yeah, Russians. Mm? This plane looks so nice, look at it. I love it. This plane is the best, for sure. Wait, is my flight the uh, EC-135, which is looking fine, as always. I probably said that already. There's a 911 type uh, area set up. There's the room. Their response. And up here, they have the two twin towers made from just ties. Probably the from people that worked on the World Trade Center, I'm guessing. So, yeah, cool. This is a uh, stair K car for the beautiful EC-135 right here. And here's the uh, KC something that I keep forgetting the name of, even though we literally have it in Cleveland. Space shuttle on this side. Not too interesting, the space shuttle is not pretty much everywhere. It's all space stuff. To be honest, kind of boring, but if you like space, there is space stuff. Air National Guard. Russian survival wear. Oh, this is for the Russians to go to space. Interesting. Oh, this thingy. Always weird. I've watched a few videos about it. Not too educated, though. Here's the all oh, the boom. I actually want to see the inside here. Look at this. Wait, let me put my like camera up. I can barely see. Can we go inside? Maybe here's the boom, or a boom. This is the boom to the KC KC ninety seven flying boom. There we go. There's actually some cool stuff they have here. And um, yeah, this looks pretty much like the museum. More space stuff, which we're not gonna get into much. This is the two planes that are outside the museum. Look how nice the museum looks out here. That actually looks so cool. Your logo. So these are like the private ones that we also seen. We think we've seen these at Ellsworth and at Hill Air Force Base. Surprisingly, honestly, I would fly a plane like this. It's kind of cool. We're gonna walk around it. So what if we do like a walk around? That'd be kind of cool. I don't know why I'm like. There's our truck in the background. Let's go. Nice. And then the B1, which I really hope to see take off from Ellsworth one day. Tried to do it once, but that didn't work out. All right, hope you guys enjoyed. This was the sixth out of 18th museum. The uh, Strategic Air Command Museum. Um, I don't know what I'm saying now and that's it, I'm leaving, goodbye.